Hello guys, this is going to be a commentary featuring gameplay of Team Deathmatch on Library. I'm going to strictly focus on some of the aspects uh, on the multiplayer side of Gears of War Judgment. I made a video covering the aspects and what I personally feel on the overrun side of Gears of War Judgment in a previous video. I will post the, the link to that video in the description below. So let's start off on what I feel of the Gears of War Judgments multiplayer. So the Gears of War Judgments multiplayer is essentially like the, the traditional Gears of War where everyone has the same health um, and the weapons are sort of, you know, somewhat balanced. And my main, main, main issue with the multiplayer so far is the melee. And it's sort of a widespread issue. This is not like coming from, you know, this is not like a a small based complaint from like a small like you know a few amount of people this is a widespread issue and every day the the, the, com the number of complaints are growing and i really hope that the the company people can fly are taking this into consideration because this is really deteriorating the uh the fun factor of gears of war judgments multiplayer now i do sort of see the um the the mind site behind the, the the melee and the reason why it was so powerful and it was basically there to help the the rifle users against nasher users or other aggressive type of players the melee in this game the animation is very quick and what really makes it overpowered is the the fact that the person who gets melee cannot respond react move pretty much do anything before the person who melees them so, in a scenario like this, basically there is no risk to meleeing someone. It basically turns the melee into an offensive attack, as opposed to the last resort defensive attack that Gears of War 3 made it. So in Gears of War 3, when someone meleeed, it was mainly because they ran out of ammo, or they jammed their weapon, or basically it was just, you know, someone, someone came too close to them and backed them into a corner, so they meleeed. And judgment, literally, literally, the melee is used before a shot is fired. Like in in, in tons of in tons of Nasher battles, the scenario is people will try to wall bounce and get closer towards you just to melee you and pretty much initiate a two-piece tactic. And it's getting to the point where if you don't melee, you're gonna get meleeed and then die as a result. So this really, you know, creates a very poor multiplayer experience in the sense that this is a third person shooter. And if you see that the users are focusing more on using their elbow as opposed to shooting their weapon, you know you have a big problem there. So some of the solutions that I think could possibly help remedy this and put this to a you know, put this to the side and not have to deal with this again is one could be pretty much bring it back to the Gears of War three days where the person who melees should be stunned longer than the person who gets meleeed, allowing the person who gets meleeed to react like, say, move away or fire their weapon before the person who meleeed them can do anything against, which pretty much makes it where if someone comes and melees me, I should be able to one-shot you because you're now stunned longer than I am, which pretty much is like a reverse two-piece in which you set yourself up for. Um, another solution could also be completely removing the stun which makes it like pretty much feel like Halo where when you get melee your character's movements is no longer um, completely separated from you and you can now continue to move around and you know still shoot at the enemy while you're still somewhat hurt from that melee attack and another solution could be the complete removal of the melee now these solutions I don't really mind um, at all if they, if they get affected by the rifles but personally I don't feel that the rifles should have to um, have the melee get dumbed down for them the rifles should be able to maintain and you know keep this overpowered melee because really I don't get two pieced by rifles at all it's primarily the Nasher that becomes a, a complete devastation when you know when people are just running around two piecing all the time so the rifles can keep the melee they they actually need it because it's like they don't they don't one shot when you think about it the shotgun on the other hand is what needs that gigantic melee nerf or i wouldn't even mind if they completely removed the melee for the nasher like 
just completely remove it, where the Nasher can no longer melee. I would not mind that at all. Um, or they can also implement a sort of a smart feature where basically the game can detect if you have if you have ammo for your Nasher, the game will not allow you to melee with that weapon. As soon as you run out of ammo for the Nasher, then you can melee with the Nasher. Something like that is unrealistic in terms of a like a um pretty much like a realistic standpoint, but in terms of a gameplay um standpoint, it's a lot more balanced. So another thing they can also add if they don't want to, you know, remove the melee for the Nasher at all and pretty much bring it back to Gears of War 3 standpoint, where the person who melees is gonna remain stunned longer than the person who gets melee. They should also make it where if they attempt to melee and they are hit by any pellet or any bullet, they are now stunned like if someone was trying to rev their chainsaw and they were shot. Um, also punishing them. So this should really make the melee only for the Nasher. This should really make someone who's wielding the Nasher think twice about meleeing. Should I really try to wall bounce up close to this guy and melee to try to get an easy kill? It's going to really make them think, and it's going to bring it back to Gears of War 3 all over again, where you really never saw someone try to two-piece in Gears of War 3. If you got two-piece in Gears of War 3, you really deserved it, because in Gears of War 3, when you get melee, you're able to shoot your weapon before they're able to, you know, shoot theirs. And it really, it, it made it more of a, you know, a weapon-based game. So, those are some of my, uh, my solutions. So what I can, what I personally think would really remedy this whole situation here, because the melee is really out of hand, really, really out of hand, and I would hope that it gets fixed before this game, you know, sort of, pretty much dies immediately. Like it, it's really getting to the point where it's not gonna live very long if all this game is is melee or get melee. Now another aspect to the. Gears of War Judgment's multiplayer is the stim gas grenade and I don't know why it's even in multiplayer but in the overrun I actually didn't think it was going to be overpowered but now I see it's it's really overpowered and the, the reason being is because all right in, in in Halo in Halo basically the regenerator uh I think it was like a power up or like a equipment that you can drop on the floor if you or your teammates were within the radius it would slowly and gradually bring your health back up now this is where Gears of War completely fails. When you're inside of the stim gas, or if your teammates are, wins, are, are within the radius of the stim gas, your health is immediately restored every frame or second that you're inside of the stim gas. So basically you can only be killed by weapons that kill you in one shot, such as a explosion like you just seen, like a, 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 um, like a Nasher. Um, Pretty much anything that can one shot or uh, kill you in an explosion, like a grenade, a boom shot, a, a bushka, a nasher, so or a, a, a headshot based weapon like a sniper rifle. So if you use like a, a um, how can I say, like a rifle, the Vulcan, or if you're at a distance with the nasher, you're not gonna be able to kill this guy until his stim gas depletes and runs out. So what really makes this overpowered is it really slows down the game and allows people a second chance when they were clearly outplayed. There's so many scenarios and so many times where I came I came into a, a fight with someone, most likely with a, a 1v1 Nasher fight, completely outplayed the guy in terms of movement and accuracy, yeah, and then he just throws a stim gas at the floor and now he's, he's just pretty much, you can see the way he moves, he's as confident as it gets now because he now has something that's constantly rehealing him and I get killed as a result because I am still somewhat hurt from the battle that we just had in which I should have won. So I personally believe that the uh, the stim gas should uh, only be an overrun or they can make it with a stim gas as opposed to completely rehealing you every second. It should gradually reheal you probably like 25% of your health every second. So I'm going to be posting some more like um, thoughts on the, the uh, Gears of War Judgments multiplayer. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Later.